Hello and welcome to the Daily Buzz. Right here on Amiyao TV, I am VJ Scarrow. And I'm Ted Jones, and now. Yes, what's buzzing, baby? <laughs> Shatawale has told his fans the Shatter movement to not disrespect his label mate and rival Stoneboy. Hmm. The Shatter movement boss took to his Facebook page to support Stoneboy oh. and not to throw shade, especially after his last performance. Scaro, <laughs> why were you being people not supporting Stoneboy in Miami? Being people, for me, I was supporting Stoneboy fully, 100%. I don't know about the rest though. <laughs> well, according to El Shatter, you all didn't support the Stone God. He said, nobody should insult Stoneboy on his recent performance. If his fans won't support us, let us support him anyhow we can. Ghanaians, isn't it? That's it. We definitely need to support. <laughs> I agree with Shatter's sentiments. Let's all support to put Ghana on the map. Most definitely, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Shatter then called for his fans to educate Stoneboy's fans on how to support. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. So you are part of the SM. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on in the more music news, a video of Nigerian superstar Davido singing and jamming to Kwame Yuji's Angela was shared on the Ghanaian hitmaker's Instagram page. One of the debates we often have amongst ourselves here in the studio is how Ghanaian music can compete with Nigerian music. Mm. Skaro, as a man of two countries, what are your thoughts on the video? I think it's a good thing. It's actually good for both countries and i think it's actually putting africa in the map yeah well does that mean ghana's musical influence is growing definitely of course it is <laughs> some stress adina revealed in an interview that her recent vgma win totally surprised her i was surprised when i won the female vocalist award not because i didn't think i deserved it but because of the names in the list she admitted when she was asked if the award put pressure on her to look at the other nominees in the category, she said it motivated her to do better. Most definitely. I think she actually deserved the award. True, true. She won it last year as well. Yeah, so. no Moving on, celebrated actor Majid Michel is advising ladies to not date men who don't know God. Majid went on Instagram to say this as well as state his belief that relationships that do not involve God are doomed from the start and will not succeed. So Majid's post picture of him standing between three lovely ladies in front of the champs Elysee in Paris. Classic guy. Oh, indeed. The photo was captioned, ladies, hear this. If a man is not following God, he is not fit to lead. If he doesn't have a relationship with Jesus, he wouldn't know how to have a relationship mm. with you. Mm. If he doesn't know Jesus, he doesn't know real love. Hashtag leadership. Mm. <laughs> I just realized right now the man Magic Michelle just spoiled somebody's chance. Oh. I, Too bad for you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Moving on, house belonging to Black Stars player Mumbarak Wakasu may be up for demolishment if a land dispute is not immediately resolved. Wakasu's house is said to be one of many likely to be affected by a mass demolition exercise pending legal resolution. Mm. That's all we have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. And also log on to tv.amiadebra.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We out. We out.